Next uh, <coughs> uh, is an old friend. He's going to have to come around the table to get out. Uh, and Joe Zipperman, our dear friend, uh, is going to bring us all up to date on what is currently going on to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the West Side Market. Now think about that. 100th anniversary of the West Side Market. We're going to get, we're going to do it right, and, and I know we're going to do it right because Joe's involved. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Tagala. Thank you. Um, if I could uh, just quickly uh, give great recognition and respect to my colleague, the uh, longest serving, notice I didn't say oldest, the longest serving, because he looks younger than I do, uh, member of Cleveland City Council, Councilman Michael Polenchik. We're just so honored that he's here. And of course, to our honorees today, Mr. Davila, Mr. Machiaski, the Hanson family, Cleveland City Council uh, has a little something for you after you leave, just to recognize your greatness. And we're so appreciative to you. And without Terry Schmagala and Irene Morrow, none of us would be here. Um, I just real briefly, when you're leaving today, there is a form on the table for every single person in this room because the West Side Market is going to be 100 years old in 2012. Uh, we all know that whether we're celebrating Easter or Christmas or whatever ethnic holiday we celebrate, we go through the West Side Market to purchase the food for our families at the dinner table. But we want to make the centennial something that is reflective of the truth, which is that Cleveland wouldn't be here without the nationalities in this room. And the West Side Market is the aggregate of the greatness of this city. It's got our ethnic communities, it's got the people who made this city so wonderful, it's got the food that sustains us, and without God and the great leadership in the city of Cleveland that we've had, that place wouldn't exist. So please, please be involved in it. Um, we're going to be not notifying you through uh, Mr. Schmigala and Ms. Morrow as the, the weeks and months get closer. But we are looking at, at hosting uh, different evenings for our, our different ethnic communities. We're looking at having different nationality events. And we cannot do it without you. And we're asking you for your guidance and direction. So please stay in touch with Ms. Morrow. And God bless you all. As we say, as my mother and father used to say, which is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And then inevitably I would do something that my father would like and he would say, which means, Joe, go throw a pound of salt on yourself. Merry Christmas. <laughs>